This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, traders. Welcome to this session on analysis using VWAP or volume weighted average price. Before we begin the session, please note that the information presented in this session is for your learning purposes only and should not be construed as any kind of advice. I do not provide any kind of stock advice, buy, sell, or hold recommendations. Since uh, financial markets are very risky, please make sure that you consult a registered financial advisor before you make any kind of market related investments. Please make sure to read that risk disclosure. How many of you and I'd like uh, two things before uh, two more things before we kick off. Uh, one thing is that the session is going to be a bit advanced uh, uh, information and not basics or simple information that I'd be presenting. Uh, second second point is that any questions you have, make sure to write proper questions in the chat group. Write a detailed question, uh, partial questions or uh, uh, how to buy or how to sell these kind of. Uh, Incomplete questions shows disinterest on the participants part and will not be entertained. Uh, I also expect the participants to be interactive. So when I ask you any question, please participate and be active because the session is for you and not for me. So only when you participate, you will learn more and we can make it a good experience. So how many of you have been using the VWAP? And this session recording will be uploaded uh, after some time. But if you want immediate learning, then please make sure to join this session. Rec recording is only for your reference, but not uh, it should not be a reason to skip this session. So how many of you are using the view up indicator? Use view up indicator, right? So why do you use view up indicator? What is view up and how do you, why do you use view up? VWAP is your volume weighted average price and basically it talks about the price of a security based on the volumes uh, it is being traded with an essential marker of average price. VWAP acting as support or resistance, uh, more volumes at that price shows average weighted price. That's right, VWAP shows you average uh, weighted price. Just a second. Do we have Angad in the session? Angad, please raise your hand. I'd like your assistance in something. All right, never mind. Just a moment. Let's start. So a lot of you use VWAP. A lot of traders use VWAP and uh, use it mainly as a reason for your support and resistance. In this session, we are going to learn how to look at VWAP and how to understand the actual purpose of using volume weighted average price. So one moment. Okay, here we go. So this is your VWAP with uh, deviations. Let me close the deviations. So right now you have a VWAP. This is your session VWAP. You can use it as a weekly VWAP or monthly VWAP as well, depending on your 
Okay, friends, something is wrong with that. Let them that come. So, a lot of traders use VWAP as a support or resistance. Until then, we can work with a VWAP. And basically, the indicator tells you about the average price versus the volumes at which a security is trading at that point of time. It basically tells you, VWAP basically talks to you about the notion of fair price of a particular security because whether a security whether an instrument is trading at a fair price or not depends on its supply and demand so based on the current supply and demand at which uh, which is present in a particular instrument vwap will help you understand whether an instrument is trading at its fair price or it's trading at an expense or it is trading at a discount uh, how to calculate fair price or VWAP? VWAP calculations can be found online it's basically a very simple concept that you can use uh, calculation but the software does the trick for you now how do a lot of traders tend to use VWAP? let us say that if I add anchor VWAP here Let's not look at the standard deviation bands for now. So this white, this blue line is your volume weighted average price. So how do, how does an average retail trader use VWAP? They use VWAP for buying and selling. That is you sell below VWAP and you buy above VWAP, okay? Or VWAP for pullbacks. That is when price breaks out and then gives a pullback, a trader looks to buy at VWAP or if a price breaks down from VWAP and then it pulls, pulls back to VWAP, they look to sell at VWAP. This is a mistake. This will all not always give you the kind of results that you expect as a trader now why is that on this particular session for example today's session you are seeing that vwap is beautifully giving an opportunity to sell at open and then buy at open but if you look at the session before that Just a second guys, my templates are a bit messed up. Now, I hope my screen is visible to everyone so here you are seeing that in today's session VWAP gave you a beautiful opportunity to sell and then above VWAP if someone would have gone long they would have made a decent amount of money in today's session but does it work reliably or consistently for example in this case you see price bouncing off multiple times at VWAP or for example if you zoom out zoom out the picture how a retail trader uses vwap as i said you buy above it at breakout and you sell below it at breakdown here you get to see a breakdown and then you get to see a breakdown here you get to see a breakdown a breakout again a breakdown here so how do you understand which breakout to trade and which breakout to avoid using vwap if the logic is that you need to combine VWAP and price action, then some of the some of the reasoning of using VWAP there itself goes out of the window because VWAP is your price action, volume weighted average price. The word P itself tells you about price here. 
so when you are already looking at price action if you again want to combine price action here along with vwap then half the purpose of using your volume weighted average price indicator goes out of the window it is pointless to use it so how exactly does vwap work or what exactly is the primary purpose of it as i said before vwap talks about fair price at that point of time for example vwap tends to change your intraday vwap tends to change throughout the day uh, depending on whether price is moving up or pricing down so at this point for example 20 to 100 is your vwap then this is the fair price this is the average average price of nifty futures at this point of time as a retail trader as a trader if you want to buy above vwap you are paying a premium when the average price is 20 to 100 if i am buying it at 20 to 150 or 160 basically i am paying more for a security whose average price at that point of time based on volumes that's being traded is 21102 if i am blindly selling below vwap here at 22050 then i am selling it very cheap so as a trader you should not look to sell cheap and buy expensive but it should be the other way around you as a as a trader my focus if i want to make money i want i have to buy cheap and sell it at a higher price or i, I have to sell it at an expensive price and then cover it at a cheaper price later so institutions don't tend to uh, use vwap this way or they don't tend to buy above vwap because if you are buying then essentially you are paying much more than what the instrument deserves at that point of time instead since institutions use a two-way mechanism to essentially trade in the stock markets they, they use a two-way mechanism to execute their positions or to run up turn a profit the first one is building positions that is their long or short position is built second one is aggressive buying or selling to make a profit on these positions that they have built either long or short so essentially any trade that someone takes will come down to a long or short it could be for example a long can be fresh long or short covering a short could be fresh short or long liquidations that is long traders traders who are long have gotten trapped and they are exiting so one of these four things can happen one two three or four but essentially the mechanism that goes over there is a buy or a sell there essentially so when institutions use a two-way mechanism a two-way process to build positions and then to aggressively drive the positions if someone has built a long position here then they will look to drive the markets to upside this is step two so the building position part uh, if, if someone is buying above vwap then essentially they are paying a premium for it they don't institutions don't like to pay a premium for something way above its fair price they don't like to sell at a very costly price when sorry sell at a discount when they can sell expensively it's retail trader who does it the other way so going by this principle there there are three things that you need to look out when you are using volume weighted average price or use first one is type of open order flow activity at vwap identify trap traders so type of open we'll come to that later let's have a look at order flow activity at vwap first this is very important as i said this session is a bit for advanced uh, volume analysis traders or order flow practitioners so now let's say that if you look at order flow activity at vwap for example 
let's take the day of 15th or for example let's take the day of 14th Wednesday is 14th let me open nifty order flow This is 14th, for example. If you see, this is your VWAP at open, previous day's VWAP as well, uh, at close, this is at 21.760. And VWAP at open is at 21.630.640. You can see that a majority of passive buying activity, a majority of buying activity, passive buying and selling absorption occurred below VWAP. So someone who wanted to build a long position did not start building long position here or did not start building a long position here. They started building position when price is trading below the VWAP. That is buying at a discount that this big guy who wanted to build a long position bought at a discount and then would have continued to scale in position above your vivo but the initial buy will not come below sorry the initial buy will not come above your vivo every time you see this is this is the common kind of a trap that a uh, lot of retail traders fall into thinking that uh, uh, if price is breaking VWAP, then I have to sell it. If price is going above VWAP, I have to buy it. No, it doesn't work that way. As I said, the first step is type of open and market structure. Inside this market structure, when price is testing your VWAP, this is where you look for order flow activity. You will more often than not see large buy will be below VWAP, session VWAP and large sell would be above your session VWAP. Any questions so far? Anyone, any questions? For example, pick Tuesday which is 13th. Where do you see sellers going underwater? Where do you see the first buyer stepping in? Look at this 1.1K. Guys, can you see my screen? Perfect. This is where strong market sellers started selling. You can see certain market selling activity in this bar. And then this is where you see a big buyer who absorbed all the supply that is coming into the market and where did supply absorption happen, selling absorption? It happened below your VWAP. So essentially this guy went long below VWAP. VWAP is at for 21,745. He started building a long position between 21,700 and 21,715 and in this range essentially. 680 to 700, sorry. So, but what do we do essentially? Once price breaks VWAP, we start selling. Me explaining this does not imply that the moment you see price breaking VWAP, you have to downside, you have to blindly buy or when you see a breakout above VWAP, you have to start selling. But when you see prices breaching VWAP at open or in the middle of a session at any point of time, see what kind of activity occurred in order flow prior to breaching VWAP. That will give you a higher possibility of uh, confidence and conviction in the series of 
trades and analysis that you do for example if you want to go long when price is breaking above vwap check what did price to when it was below volume weighted average price do you see any kind of passive buying activity by longs by big players who wanted to go long did you see any big guy going long below vwap then if price is breaking out of vwap there is a higher possibility that it will continue to go up clear in view of i've used uh, close instead of hlc by 3 anything special nothing i just like to use closed closing uh, parameters hlc by 3 it it just gives you a difference of one two points no big deal than that anyone any questions again where do you see these longs coming in imbalances below your view of the earliest sign of a trend change or the earliest sign of a large player who wants to build a position who wants to essentially load up before he tries to move the markets up or down you get to see below vwap or above vwap in the opposite direction but it doesn't just happen in the same trending way does tick size affect vwap no it doesn't affect vwap clear or any questions vwap or vwap band i personally like to use vwap uh, uh, sta using standard deviations is a totally different technique as well i like to do that for slightly higher time frame uh, uh, that's not something that i would be uh, covering in this session but using uh, standard deviation vwap is different if price goes too away from vwap can we expect price to come near vwap what is too away from vwap define too away so point 200 point 300 point away ka definition bhi uh, hame dekhna padega 100 points why 100 points because 100 points is a century no there is nothing like price goes too away from vwap and then it has to come down to vwap there is no rule absolutely no rule like that anyone else any other questions all right so as i was saying some time back you need to look at the kind of open that you are getting in the markets uh, the way you understand the opening can be in multiple times some traders use the auction market theory to understand opening that is you have open drive open test drive for example various kinds of openings are open within uh, previous days range to keep matters much more simplified uh, what you can do is as new traders or as traders who want to start using this add this point of data analysis in your setups look out for previous days vwap and current days open so where is previous days vwap are we opening below it or are we opening above it that is the first step that you need to look second point current days view up right at 915 don't start looking at current days view up if uh, intraday view up starts be being more reliable say at least from after 930 to 945 because when you are looking at volumes and price let volumes come in let price start moving market had just opened so you can't rely on five minutes of price action and uh, go against previous days vwap or any other parameters there for example so previous days vwap close price plus current days open whenever you see that for example if you take and look out for footprint what does your footprint analysis tell at these crucial areas what kind of activity is happening from an institutional perspective is something that you can monitor pick any day for example and whenever you see that this is a very important pointer whenever you see that previous days vwap 
if price is greater than previous days vwap at open and also greater than current days vwap and you see that there are sellers coming in in order flow and you see a price breakdown like this or you see buyers absorption and you see a price breakdown there is a higher probability that this day you can see a strong movement for example here price opened above your previous days vwap and your current days vwap as well at open look at the order flow activity here because your previous days vwap is below this area acted as a good reference i personally rely more i trust more on previous days vwap area than my intraday vwap at open especially because previous days uh, readings are established that is it is it's not going to change certain market activity happened at that zone that is the reason why certain market activity happened and the day got closed so that's a reference i can trust but intraday vwap is not something uh, that is uh, 100% concrete right at open or at least in the first half of the session because the value tends to change any questions about what i explained so far Why not weekly view up into consideration? See, if you want to take things as uh, one notch up and combine, uh, look at the picture on a slightly higher time frame, then you can use pre weeks view up as well. Preferably previous weeks view up. Again, for example, here, this was your previous just view up at closing on fifth. on 6th this is where market opened this is the same reference where market initially struggled so when you see a lot of passive activity here and then the market breaking out there is a higher probability that it can give a strong move but when you see that market is trading between previous day vwap and current day vwap then those are not the kind of moves uh, one has to expect to run for a large amount of time and rather expect moves from point 1 to point 2 target based trading will work out more in such kind of scenarios again here if you look at the price action for fifth This was your previous just view up. Now go to order flow. what kind of activity do you see here looking at order flow initially when the price hit your previous days view up for the first time nope no activity and then above view up rotation correct anyone any questions no questions example on second where do you see the first seller coming in a, a passive seller someone sold a large quantity of nifty futures and try to absorb the buying where absorb the buying which was happening it happened right above your vwap clear
VWAP crossover, what is VWAP crossover? I'm not sure I understood. For first web, this is your previous days VWAP. You can see the market ranging between the current day VWAP and the previous days VWAP. So when you see high volume activity, when you see large players stepping in some institutional buying or selling happening above or below VWAP and then both your current day and previous days VWAP being taken out, then you see that there is a higher probability of that move being a strong trending move. Anyone, any questions so far? If you want to combine volume profile analysis with it, sure, if you already know how to use volume profile, you can do it. If not, you can use this particular concept of looking at footprint when price breaches VWAP on the upside or downside before it reverses with any other analysis you use and make sure that you stay on the right side of the markets. Some days you see that these kind of days, for example, uh, price giving excellent pullback at VWAPs. That is, VWAP will act when price pulls back to VWAP, it will act as good support or resistance. But on some days, you don't see that happening. Why? Because it depends on the kind of open. If price opens above your previous day's VWAP and starts moving in one single direction like this for example where at right at open you see a strong moment your essentially your open drive days or in some cases your open test drive kind of days as well since buying activity is happening constantly right from open these are the kind of days when you can see that the big guys will try to defend vwap as much as we can and these are the kind of days when pullback to vwap will act as good support or resistance but not always. Your VWAP is not your support resistance in every condition or every situation. Any other questions? Aris, I already answered your question. Arun, can VWAP be same as point of control? Not necessarily always. You should keep overall trend in perspective for our intraday entries. Well, how you define trend or what exactly is a trend for you matters there. It's uh, you can use certain markers like where where is my previous days value area, where is my previous days view of what kind of open we got. Based on this, if you judge the trend or have a solid understanding of the expected movement, that is fine. But do not simply look at price trying to move up then it's an uptrend and price trying to move it's a downtrend kind of days in open test of openings higher chance of VWAP acting as support resistance open drive days the best if VWAP test fails on open drive days then there is a very good possibility of liquidation moves or covering moves those days for example this is your a gap down open a good driving move right at open a VWAP test failed by sellers sellers failed to defend VWAP on this day so this is a kind of a day when you get to see covering daily VWAP and session VWAP both are yes both are one at the same session is a day here so what did we discuss in this session just to summarize First and the most important thing, how not to use VWAP as a retail trader. Don't do what every retail trader does. It's not buy above VWAP and sell below VWAP. If that were it fit or that easy, then markets would be very easy to trade, which is not the case. How to understand the concept of average price and how you need to perceive the average price like an institution. What kind of, when can you expect strong moves? 
that is pvwap and current vwap confluence and the fourth one is type of openings all clear or any questions Previous is POC or VWAP, what would you give more weightage? It depends on what exactly I am looking at in the market. If I am looking at the overall structure of the markets, then I will always give more importance to volume profile over VWAP. But if I am looking at the immediate moves on which I can capitalize or to build a position on an immediate basis, then I will look at previous days VWAP and current day VWAP. So what exactly are we looking at is more important you need to know what you want to do here okay if enough people are interested then i will uh, have an advanced session on uh, using vwap with a much more advanced techniques especially using weekly vwap and using standard deviation bands in select market structures you don't need to use standard deviation bands always there are certain market conditions where standard deviation bands will help you if enough people are interested i will schedule an invite only session for that but if we don't if you don't have any further questions then uh, we will wrap it up for here okay Thank you all for joining this session and those who are interested to learn more about volume profile and order flow analysis i host a mentoring program called as a professional traders program where i teach advanced concepts of volume profile order flow and give access to my proprietary indicators as well those who are interested and want to know more about it sign up for it can reach out to me my uh, contact ID would be given after this session it would be shared feel free to reach out to me on that the recording will be shared in one to two days guys thank you all for attending this session if you have further questions about what was explained feel free to reach out to me at any point of time and keep practicing